our niece got stung yesterday by a bald faced hornet. And then our son, Lincoln, got stung this morning. Turns out there is a nest under our porch. So Dylan's gonna do something with it. But I'm terrified. <laughs> do you see the nest? You be ready to run. Close. You feel safe? Yeah. Okay, good. I know you are, baby. Taylor did bleed, honey, for a little bit. Update with our garden. We got a bunch of tomatoes coming. So excited. We got some squash over there coming. There's beans, which we're gonna pick them today and get them out of there. Um, so that way more grow. And I'm going to um I'm actually going to pickle them because I like dilly beans, is what they're called. They actually taste really good. I hate beans in general, normally, um, unless they are baked beans. And these ones don't seem to be that bad, so I'm liking this. These have pretty much gone. There's really not that many left down there other than a, a couple. And then the rest has pretty much gone to seed. Um, cabbage growing pretty good. Um, these are cucumbers. They're growing pretty good. Um, bees are everywhere, so there's a bunch of... I don't know if you can see them. There they are. They're coming. We got bigger ones too. Like that one. So they're almost there. They're getting there. And then these ones, which don't have anything on them yet, but I do have to string them up and get them fixed. Um, and then this is our cauliflower, which so... Here's our carrots. Like I said, the slugs are like everywhere through here. So we are going to get all of these out and get them going. Um, our scallions are still going good. Those are squash and they are run, runneth over. So and we have some flowers in there. They are growing um, some in there, but there's just not anything quite yet. Baby. They're mad. See, I'm mad at the world, guys. So mad. Uh, uh. Huh. So mad. See, I'm tired. Huh. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm going to night. I'm going to take me out. Yes, okay. See, we're we'll, we'll taking you. Catch. I like this. Catch. Yeah, I got a camera. There's a worm in the front door now. Don't go in the front door. Hey, I like 
picture. Yes, I, I got plants and something to eat. Say parsley. Parsley. Yeah. And tomatoes. Squash. Those are cauliflower. Be careful because there's bumblebees. Those are oh, cucumbers. We got a pretty good sized storm coming today, so it's supposed to be a nasty thunderstorm this afternoon. So I'm hoping, since it's like 10 ish now, um, we can get the carrots pulled, the tomatoes pruned, and the beans pulled. And then we should be okay. And I think I'm gonna take a couple of the cucumbers off. And I think that we'll be okay for right now. Right now, we have such a big slug issue. They've just, I've never had slug issues before, ever. And they've been horrible this year. So um, we're gonna try to get them taken care of. And then once the slugs are gone, or once the carrots are gone, hopefully the slugs will go away. But we've had um, Japanese beetles as well, which I've always had an issue with in our area but they have literally just destroyed the leaves on my cauliflower. I'm hoping that it doesn't kill them. I don't have to tell. But I'm hoping it doesn't kill them. It's just they've been awful. And my squash they've gotten to. Um, hoping that once I can and my parsley <clears throat> my parsley's gotten a little bit big and my cilantro has flowered a little so I'm gonna go through and weave that update all on our chickens we got chickens about six weeks ago we haven't updated since because it was quite an ordeal we were trying to get used to it and we had a lot going on and we've been gone and back and doing all these other things so really haven't been able to do a ton of videos my nephew um, Tyson shout out to Tyson he got pretty badly injured and he's okay now he went through surgery everything's all good um but that was quite the ordeal um and i just honestly haven't really had a ton of time nor have we really had anything other than really updates to talk about so really didn't do any of that dylan's been working on his truck trying to get that fixed um so yeah it's kind of craziness but we do have chickens still um, the first week of August is when we're gonna have to butcher them or process them is what we're calling them because this go around we're gonna do it ourselves um, and Lincoln is going to learn where chicken comes from because right now Ralph and Phil and Jason in there are his buddies and he doesn't quite understand that he's going to eat them soon so we're gonna teach him where chicken comes from and that this is what we are doing for chicken now um, but they're doing pretty good they're right there they're the laziest birds I've ever seen in my entire life but the part that kills me the most is this this is a shale where we live so the part that kills me the most is that there is like not a lot of grass and vegetation What are you doing in there? Okay, don't touch it. I'll get it. I'll come in in a minute. There's a lot of grass and vegetation, um, but it's not the best and it's pretty thin, especially out in the back here. So I'm a little bit excited because to be completely so honest. It out. Mind you, it does not get a lot of sun, but there is, it's still coming out. They were there for a long time. And then they were here for a week, there for a week, there for a week, there for a week, and now they're here. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at all that vegetation. Look at that. Look how green it is. It looks so good. It looks so good right there. It's crazy. When Dylan starts coming to the pen, they go crazy. They love Dylan. They instantly know that they're getting food of some kind. So. Um, I'm going to pull out the carrots, pick the beans, and trim up the tomatoes so that way we get more tomatoes and then we'll be all done. Yay, for the day. 
Lincoln's gonna be so proud. You guys can tell, but these are the slugs that we have. I don't know if you see them, but they are all over. And this, all that, like it looks like moss, is all their secretion stuff, all that nasty stuff. So what we're gonna do is this big old pile of carrots. We're gonna trim it all down, put it in the bucket to wash them all off, and then we're gonna take them inside, wash them again. And then we're gonna dig all this stuff out and get this all situated. Let's pull down the water. These are all a bunch of piles. And here, and I can't bring those. I can't bring those. There's a more vials. On the board. <laughs> On the board. After processing all of our carrots, um, we have a whole bucket here. I'm going to blanch them and um, freeze them. And then I have a bag for my mother-in-law, bag for my mom and dad, and a giant bag for us. It's insane how many carrots we got, but that's exciting. Um, right now I'm going to do the carrots. Lincoln's going out to grab the rest of the beans. Um, the bee issue that we had earlier, yeah, still not taken care of. They're actually swarming our front porch so we're not going out there um, it's it's pretty bad um, it really scares me <laughs> the fact that we've been out there every single day have not been stung once my niece comes over gets stung in the ankle and then my son gets stung the next day in the ankle that's just weird to me um, but that just goes to show that They've been established for a while. Here's our chicks. We got 30 of them this time. Another 30, I should say. So, I got a phone call from our local postage lady that our laying chickens are in. So, I'm really excited. I'm going down to grab them. For a day that wasn't supposed to be very eventful, uh, we've done quite a bit today. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool because our mail lady said that there has been at least 20 batches of chicks that's come through their post office. And mind you, our post office is tiny. It's a very small town. Um, not very many people come through there or li even live in this area. And 20 batches. That's huge. We also have a lot of Amish in our area. The thing that gets, get, I don't understand, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, how are they ordering chicks offline and having them delivered to their house if they're not allowed to use the internet or electricity? Like, unless they're ordering it from somebody and having them do it for them. Like, that's the only way I can think of it. And then they just get it delivered to their house. I don't know. Whichever which way, it's amazing. That's all I gotta say. Getting chicks ordered in the mail is awesome. I love it. I will keep doing it for as long as Dylan lives. Nana. Nana. Say, Nana. Say, I just said it. Nana. 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 